Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien, and Bubba, here on Thursday, September 26th. And stand by for commentary. Well, Americans, this is devoted to you. So, you'll be part of this. Most of you won't listen to this. And you'll see what I mean when I start doing this. But it relates to the impeachment and the Democrats. And to a certain extent, the boneless Republicans. So here we go. Well, Americans, the Democrats are taking a big chance on impeachment. But here's the problem. Of the total voters that you have out there, the total people that can vote, not the voters that vote, but can vote, I believe you split up this way. You have 15% that are far right, like uh, Laura Ingram, Tucker Carlson, Rush Limbaugh, you know, those far right guys. And you got 15% that are real far left. Bernie Sanders, AOC, Omar, all the people there. So that's 30%. Then you got seven and a half that are eh, somewhat to the right, but not too far, but very far, but not extreme. Those on the right uh, are include like, uh, oh, Rudy Giuliani would be one of them. Uh, Trump, he's not too far out there, but he's out there. Uh, maybe Miller, Steve Miller would be on the right. And on the left, Pelosi, Kamala Harris, Pocahontas would be there. You know, those would be someone like that. That's seven and a half, seven and a half. So you got 15, 15, 30, seven and a half, seven and a half, 45 percent. Then you got two and a halves that consider themselves moderate. Like, you know, uh, say, uh, Senator John McCain uh, would have been one. Senator Flake, former Senator Flake there, uh, would have been another one. Uh, I know that uh, Senator Schumer considers himself a moderate Democrat over on the other side. So, you know, you got two and a half, two and a half there. So that's 15 and 15 is 30%, seven and a half, seven and a half, another 15%, 45 and two and a half and two and a half. That's 50%. Which leaves the 50% of you that hate politics. They hate politicians. They want to be left alone. Want to live your own lives. Could care less of what's going on. To those I'm talking to. Because unfortunately, these two and a half, seven and a half, and 15 percents are killing you. They're ruining your lives. Because their agendas come first and yours get stuck way down in file 13. What do you say, Americans? To you, I'm the one that one is talking to. The heart and soul of America is what I'm talking to here as a favorite alien. You have a chance to change your country, have a chance to change the planet. But you're so entrusted in your little lives that the people over there take advantage of you, and next thing you know, you wonder why you're in a hell in a handbasket or in debt like crazy. Because of the rules and uh, stipulations that these parties, both Democrats and Republicans, put on their political system. And by what I mean about political system, I mean they put people in the Supreme Court, which is not supposed to be partisan. But it is, because they have their own views up there. They don't have your country's views on there. Then you get the president, who has his own views, and is putting the country down. Then you have the Congress, run by Pelosi and Schumer. And McConnell on the other side. And those back boneless Republicans on the Democrats on the House side. And the Senate. 
So to you 50% Americans that could care less about politics, that just want to be left alone and do your lives, this is what I'm saying. It's about time that you, for once a lifetime, come together and say, enough is enough. We need to do something about this. You Democrats, this impeachment proceeding is crazy. If we want President Trump out, we'll vote him out in November. Is he a bad guy? Well, maybe, maybe not. Does he do bad things? Well, he does disastrous things. But, you know, you can't consider them bad because there's a lot of presidents that did bad things. President Obama, when he let those people die over in Libya because of political situations under, you know, and they could say, oh, it's a... Hillary's fault? Well, no, it's the president's fault. The buck stops there with the president. So he gets credit for that, or discredit. Bush, with Iraq. He started a war that was stupid. In Afghanistan, under President Reagan started to go to, with the Soviets, and then you had the Iran-Contra thing to help arm people? Yeah, really? So you see, American, this is what I'm saying. To you 50% of Americans who absolutely abhor politics, absolutely want to be left alone, absolutely don't care about these stupid politicians, for once in your lives, I'm telling you, go to your district, go to your senators, and tell them, we mean business. We don't want this hocus-pocus stuff that you have been doing for the last 241 years. This is your favorite alien saying, good day. And Bubba, who would run for president if you 50% of you guys who hate politics, write Bubba in for president. Show the Americans that you mean business, that you want this country back to you, the 50 percenters who actually should rule the country, but are left alone in the cold. Write Bubba in as President of the United States in 2020. Make both parties take notice that you mean business. So this is your favorite alien in Bubba saying good day.